decided to get up pretty early today. Uh, you know, the, the days that I'm not working, you know, I really like to get up early and spend a bunch of time out in the garden um, because I'm a firm believer that you need to, if you're going to have a garden, you need to be able to enjoy it. Uh, especially this time of year, you know, June and July. This is really a time that you should be out in your garden enjoying it, not really worrying about too much. Just sit down and enjoy it. You know, look look at all the stuff you've got growing more than anything. So I like to get up early, uh, come out here, eat some strawberries and blueberries, and take a look at everything, see how everything's doing. But there's something I want to talk about. And uh, the thing I want to talk about was sugar, natural sugar. And the reason I'm talking about that is because I'm one of the people that, I mean, I drink about seven or eight of these a day. You know, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I love my sugar. I love my caffeine, my Coca-Cola. Um, and some people right now, you're waking up, you're actually pouring a bunch of sugar into your coffee. Um, but the sugar I'm going to talk about is not table sugar. It's not the sugar that you know we're used to, or even corn sugar, corn syrup. It's about a natural sweetener called stevia. Now, some of you guys are probably you guys know about this. Some of you don't. Um, stevia is a plant that is over 300 times sweeter than sugar. Um, the United States government banned it in the early 1990s. Um, as a use as a, as a sugar. Um, it, was, it was only sold as a dietary supplement. Now, that's weird to me that, that the government would ban something, not because it's bad for you, but for political reasons. Um, now, just recently in 2011, um, the U European Union actually made it made it into a sugar. There's, there's a company called Truvia that made stevia into a sugar, a powdered sugar, table sugar that you can get. And it's 300 times sweeter. It's all natural. There's no calories in it. Um, it's just natural sweetener. Now, this is the plant that I'm talking about. Uh, this is stevia right here. Now, stevia is just a regular plant. Um, it's from Brazil and Paraguay. Now, stevia is found all across um, so South America, Central America, and parts of North America, like uh, Mexico, um, New Mexico, and Arizona, and parts of Texas. Now, stevia grows all up in there. Now, the one that produces the most sugar is actually from Paraguay and Brazil. It's a special variety or species. Now, if you look at the leaves, um, these are the, this is what gives you the sugar. And I'll try one. instantly the only way I could explain it is if you took a, a spoonful of sugar and put it in your mouth that's what it tastes like now it's not too sweet it's not bitter it's it's sugar now if you like cooking with sugar if you like eating a lot of sugar what you do is you dry the leaves out and you just use them for cooking you can use them making brownies um, you can use them to make lemonade um, and you can even use them to put in your coffee now a little history about the stevia plant stevia just like a lot of the other plants that I talk about have been harvested for over 1500 years in South America um, native Indians of South America were harvesting it in uh, Brazil and Paraguay now We've known about it since the 1500s uh, from uh, Spanish explorers that actually went to South America and actually um, re researched it and recorded it. Um, since the 1970s, Japan has been using it in everything. Um, when they found out in the 1970s that a lot of sweeteners were considered carcinogens or cancer causing, they started basically growing stevia on a massive scale. Now. Their Coca-Cola is, is sweetened by stevia. It's not sweetened by corn, corn syrup or, or, or table sugar. It's sweetened by stevia. Um, a lot of their candies, a lot of their, a lot of their sweet stuff is sweetened by stevia. Now, I think that's why the United States in the early 90s banned it and made it illegal for political reasons and whatever reason they banned it. But just recently we're able to use it and I can't I still can't even call it a sugar I gotta call it a dietary supplement um, for whatever reason I mean it's it's bizarre but 
this is this plant's a gift it's um it's a real gift for people that have diabetes and you want something sweet you don't have to worry about this plant um this plant's all natural it's all safe it's edible thousands and thousands of tons of this stuff is eaten yearly on an annual scale across the planet um everybody over in asia and china um, Australia, Japan, Korea, um, they're using this on a massive scale rather than sugar that basically kills you. It's, uh, it's basically poison. And there's been a lot of, uh, a lot of research done on it, a lot of documents that have come out talking about that in the last year now, talking about how bad sugar actually is for you. So, if you're one of those people that are worried about sugar, or, you know, if you, if you, if you drink it and you, you use it so much and you want to do things naturally, you want to get rid of the, the poisonous sugar, you know, you're trying to cut back, trying to be healthy, um, stevia is the perfect plant. And um, I'm actually going to make a tea with using stevia here, uh, probably one of my next videos I'm actually going to be talking about. So this is it right here. This is stevia. This is a natural sweetener. So if you guys like growing, if you guys like having a garden, um, you want something that you can actually use on a daily basis that's that's basically going to be the, the future sugar. This is the future sugar right here. So where everyone's going to be getting their sugar from, not not table sugar. This is it right here. Plant some of these seeds. You can buy them. You can get them at Lowe's. Um, Rareseeds.com. That's a seed company that I normally go to. They have it. Um, you can go to them. There's also a company called BlackbirdNaturals.com, and they sell all a bunch of wild edible really cool seeds check out the seeds that they've got they've got some cool they even have lamb's quarters too so they're i like that website <laughs> um so yeah try this and i mean if you've got if you're having health problems if you're overweight um if you're trying to eat healthy trying to be natural this is the way to go i mean they've been using it in japan for the last 40 years now sweetening their their coca-cola while we're using corn sugar corn syrup so and it makes you wonder why the government wouldn't make it illegal or ban it you know, 1990s, you know, makes you wonder. So for that reason, grow some of the stuff, try it. You're going to be, you're going to be surprised how, I can't believe it. I can't believe I've never known about it. I can't believe that you, you I mean, it's bizarre. Get yourself some stevia, try it, dry it out, put it in your coffee, put it in your, bake with it, um, put it in your oatmeal. That's perfect. Dry it out and let, put it in your oatmeal. Have some nice sweet oatmeal and even, uh, even teas. I mean, they're p perfect for teas. You don't have to dry it out for a tea. You don't have to dry it out at all, but just an easier way to store it. So, so that's it. That's the stevia. Um, tell me what you guys think. Leave a comment below, and thanks for watching.